going on everybody? It's your girl Sneaker Mom here. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new Air Max 1 Coral Stardust. Let's get into it. Starting out with a box, you got your normal MS1 box, all red with the white Nike on top. You got your Nike on this side, same on this side. But then we're gonna get to the front of the box and it reads Nike Air Max 1 PRM for premium, and the colorway is Coral Stardust and Bright Coral. Let's get into the inside. Open up the box, you got your normal stamp of approval right there on top of the box. Just some all white tissue paper, that's pretty much it. Nothing spectacular going on with this box. So let's go ahead and get into the main ingredient of this video. It is the Air Max 1 Core Stardust. Alrighty, starting off by saying these are clean. Man, you know we had the blue ones, we had the Baltic blue, um, uh, the corduroy ones that came out a while back. Now we got these right here. They came up as a follow-up And I can say that I'm maybe liking these just a tad bit more than the blue ones loving the blue ones also But these right here, they're clean loving this nice pink and especially that little corduroy You can't go wrong with corduroy to me. Some people don't like corduroy on a shoe. I like it I love it. It reminds me of those air matches those Sean Wetherspoon spoon air mats uh, 97s. They were all corduroy. Those are so clean still on my uh, to do list get one day in my life but right now we're rolling with these and like I said these are very very clean loving this nice soft pink we got going on very nice summer colorway and as we all know Air Max 1 has been doing their thing as of late all these nice colorways we getting just can't go wrong pretty much with Air Max 1 but my only problem is the price 160 man these are very to me it's just a little tad bit high for some Air Maxes so for me, of course, I've been picking up all the Air Maxes, but I've been waiting a little bit. Giving it a couple weeks or two two or three weeks, then they're going to be on sale. Caught these right here on the Memorial Day sale, which was the other day. Got it for, I think, 90 bucks. I mean, this is the price I'm willing to pay for these. I can't do the 160. 90 for these was perfect. Got them in hand. I know they came out May 20. I think they came out May 26. Retailed on $160. They dropped all the sneakers out. They didn't sell out. I think they're pretty much just sitting Pretty much sitting everywhere because I don't think nobody really wants them. But me, I love them. I love this colorway. And of course, I had to complete the pack. If I had the blue, I need to go ahead and get the pink so I could complete the pack. And like I said, two very, very nice, clean Air Max 1s. And you can't go wrong with Air Max 1, like I said before. So let's go ahead and get into the description of the shoe. Like I said before, all like a soft pink upper with this nice corduroy. Ooh, this lighting. Soft pink corduroy going throughout the uh, upper of the shoe, which is very clean. I think, like I said to me, this corduroy just brings the shoe out. Can't go wrong with it, my opinion. You got this nice, like a, a coral Nike check right here on the side of the shoe right here, still in that nice corduroy material. Of course, you got your normal Air Max 1 air bubble right here on the bottom. And it's kind of a like a burgundy brownish color. And to me, that's what sets it off also. I love the little extra dark hints that they put on the shoe also just to give it just a little tad bit of more touch just more of a just a little dark of uh, color that's going on throughout very clean back of the heel right here you got your nike air in that uh dark i'm gonna say dark burgundy brownish color nike air stitched in the back of the heel inside the shoe you got your nike air and that soft pink on the inside of the shoe right there also here we got this nice uh burgundy dark burgundy could go for a tad bit of brown going around the sock liner which i think is very clean I love the way these colors mesh well. They just mesh well together, in my opinion. Can't go wrong with your pink, your coral, and of course, burgundy. Burgundy always looks good on the shoes to me, so that's very nice. You got the nice eyelids right here in that same burgundy colorway right there. Also, going to the top of the uh, tongue right here, you got your Nike Air, that nice coral color, and then you still got that Nike and that burgundy. You got these nice soft pink uh, shoelaces right here 
which I think is very clean. Also, they did come with extra pair of laces, which I love. We're gonna go back down here to the mid. So you got this all white mid, so which is clean. And then on the bottom of the shoe, you got that all burgundy, burgundy dark brownish looking color on the bottom of the uh, shoe, which is very, very clean. I like them. Like I said, I could, I, I could see myself paying the ninety dollars for them, but I just couldn't see that one sixty price tag. So of course. Wait until they went on sale. Like I said, pretty much all my air matches I done picked up as of late. I wait till they go on sale and I grab them. I just can't do that 160 for an air match one unless it was like the big bubbles when I got those. But other than that, just give me the, the sale price and I'm good. I can wait. It's not a rush for me just to put it out there. But that's just personal opinions. But this was the uh, left shoe. Right shoe, like I said, look the same as that way. You got that nice pink corduroy going throughout the whole upper of the shoe. Still got that nice uh, coral on that Nike check on the side. Like I said, they did come with these extra laces, which are a coral color, which I think is clean. I definitely think I'm gonna put these in just to get a shoe a little extra pop. Got that coral color uh, laces that came with them. So you got the pink that comes with it on the inside. And they give you these extra coral laces right here, which I think is very clean. I think these are gonna be the ones I go with. But I could see some actually all white laces going in these too. I think that wouldn't look bad. If you want to switch them out and put some all whites in there, I think that'd be very clean also. Overall, very nice, clean-looking shoe. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about these. Did you go for them when they came out? Or did you wait, like I did, to catch them on sale and um, still rock with them, even though they're still a nice, very nice, clean shoe? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. Oh, let me go ahead and compare them. Like I said, this was the pink ones. And then here goes the Baltic blue ones right here. So y'all let me know which one would you go with. Would you go with the Baltic blue, which I think is super clean. Or would you go with the pink ones? Let me know which ones you think look the best down in the comments below. Which one would you go for? I think you can get them both now on sale. And if you go to the aftermarket, because some uh, sites haven't put them on sale yet. So if you want to go to the aftermarket, super cheap. I think I seen these were like $77 on the aftermarket on GOAT. And then these were like $89. So if you want to get them for a cheap price, they're out there for you to get. But it's a super clean shoe. And I think they're worth the, re the resale price right now, yeah, they all worth the resale price, and they're worth you getting them for or, or catching them on sale. That's just my personal opinion. So y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Which one would you go with, Violet Blue or the Starter Coral Starters? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's pretty much all I got for y'all. So if you're new to watching my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you're new to watching, so you can know when I post all my videos. Follow me on Instagram at sneakermom1721. Stay tuned to the end for that on foot. And until the next time, it's your girl Sneaker Mom. Peace.